you family. Yeah. Yeah. Cal was, here. Cal was here. I mean, you had seven people in the game. <laughs> um, um, it's always a great experience. Um, you know, we don't get much free time, and you know, this is always something that once it first, once they first announce you, like, I don't get the week, I don't get the week off. <laughs> but but then you get here, and, and once you start taking it all in, you start having the conversations with, you know, the legends of the game. You know, the guys that came before us, and you know, started this whole this whole business, so, you know, it, it, it's always an honor. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was cool, you know, just pick up friendly basketball. Is this, is this considering, I know guys don't want to get hurt, no more than trying to get to but is it still hard to find that balance of competing but not risking something against another remainder of the season? Yeah, it's very hard to find that balance. Um, Honestly, I have no no answer for it. So, you know, we did enough pregame speeches on, you know, how we're trying to fix it and make it more competitive. But I just think the evolution of the game and um, ring culture, you know, has people more focused on their team than, you know, an a all-star game. Well, I'm not sure if you talk about the step versus Sabrina shootout, but what do you think of that? And do you think that the NBA can do uh, I guess more of a job of incorporating w, WBA. Yeah, it was probably the the event I heard about the most going coming into the weekend. So, you know, good job for them and the marketing behind it. Um, and just the collaboration with the WNBA, you know, I think it's always something that's going to be good for both of our sports. Well, I love the, uh, the Bill Ward of you on the building. What did you think yeah. about that? Can you tell me the inspiration behind it? Yeah. Inspiration to the library. Um, that's something I want to stand. Um, the drop of the book one, something that, you know, a lot of time, a lot of energy went into to so to finally see it come to life and get to celebrate with the team and my family and everybody that made it come to life. You know, it was it was a hell of a time. Indianapolis really showed out this week. How did it compare to other All Star weekends as far as how the city showed up? Um, what do you mean it showed up? Fans, yeah. signage, you yeah. on the side of a building. That was crazy. <laughs> um, it was a great time. How? What impressed you the most about the whole weekend? Um, just the history and the legends that are in the building. So, you know, I'm a big pay homage guy to the ones that come before you. And, you know, being in there with Bird, being in there with Reggie, you know, in their their home cities, their hometowns, man, it's, it was a good time. Could you feel the pride that this building showed towards basketball with all of that history in Indiana? Yeah, I mean, I... I understand. I grew up in Michigan, right around the corner. So, you know, I know the history runs deep here. And I used to grow up playing at Spies, um, which was a, a gym that we used to always have a lot of tournaments in. So, you know, I'm very familiar with it. Yeah. Yeah, it's go time. You know, it's time to turn it up a little bit, and you know. Just compete at the highest level, like you said, remain to stay healthy and you know, you just want to peak at the right time. You want to play the, the right basketball um, and just keep getting better and keep getting better before the playoffs. Well, just in terms of this game, how do you reflect on, on what happened out there today? Uh, it was a good time. You know, I've seen a lot of smiles. Um, yeah. What are you trying to get away? Huh? You're trying to go somewhere after this. Yeah, I'm trying to race all these other planes that are uh, going to be on the tarmac. I ain't trying to get caught in that line. What was it like to be with all the your fellow UK alum yeah. and Coach Cal here tonight? Coach Cal, Tyler Eulis, um, those guys hold a dear spot in my heart. Um, every time I come and play in Indiana during the season, Big Blue Nation always shows up and shows love. So um, it's cool to see Cal. I haven't seen him in a long time. Obviously, me and Tyler. We, we remain in contact, you know, almost daily. So, you know, seven seven guys from UK in the game, that's a pretty impressive stat. Well, um, something you're looking forward to just the second half of the season, anything um, you want in your team specifically, you want, you want them to accomplish? Uh, just keep getting better, keep trusting each other and building the chemistry. Um, it's our first real year together. We just made some trades at the deadline. So getting the new guys acquainted and so far so good. So. You know, I'm happy with where we're at. How do you feel after Last two? the event yesterday? Uh, your shoe, like, just an intimate thing. How, how was it? 
Uh, it was a great time. Family enjoyed themselves. I got my mom out the house. She usually never pulls up to anything. So a lot of smiles on people's faces, a lot of, you know, just trying to take it all in. And, you know, it's something that just hits me in waves. You know, I continue working. I'm already working on the book too, but, you know, we just want to sit here and, you know, take in the first one first. It's always a pleasure representing the Valley in the Ulster Weekend, right? Hell yeah. That's the most important part. That's why I wanted to pay homage with these. Um, inspired by the All-Star game that was in Phoenix in 1995. Do you think your team needs to be done to get to the finals? Um, I'm not trying to get there. I done did that already. I'm trying to finish it, but we just have to keep getting better. Simple as that. Thank you. Thanks, Bo. Appreciate you guys.